when I first decided to start doing this series, it was basically, I want to upload some retro games. So this is really just for my own amusement. I, I doubt anybody will enjoy them. And they've actually been received really well, and I think it's because you guys, I have an older subscriber base. Now, I mean old, I just mean older. And I think you guys really appreciate the classics and the kind of feelings I have, the nostalgia I have when I play these games. You guys comment the exact same things, and that's that's awesome, man. And this is San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. I think this is the first racing game I've uploaded to my channel, and that's okay, man. San Francisco Rush is one of my favorites. This is on the Nintendo 64, but this was originally a stand-up arcade game, and I'm sure I'm sure there's some of you out there, myself included, 11. 12 years old, I think I was 11 or 12 when this was on the arcade, and going to the arcade and popping in a quarter and playing this game, it was so successful on the stand-up arcade that they actually ported it to the 64 the next year, uh, and I think it also got ported to the PlayStation at some point as well, and San Francisco Rush, and I could not for the life of me make that turn ever, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter if I hit my brakes, because then everybody just passes me, so sometimes I just go for it. It's not good. And this game is difficult, man. This is difficult. Like, I, I think the medium is the default setting. And if you make, like, one wrong move, you are done. The only thing you got going for you is this game has got a crazy handicap system, even for the CPU. So if you get far behind, uh, you're going to go about 10 mile an hour faster than everybody else, and they're going to go about 10 mile an hour slower. And if you get a lead, the CPU can just stick right on you for some reason. But I think that's why we liked it so much. It was difficult, but it was fun. And uh, <laughs> no, I, d I don't have a terrible capture card. This is just the graphics. It's, <laughs> it's one of those games where if you play it long enough, you're probably going to have a seizure. I, <laughs> I definitely can't play this game for very long. The wife and I won't be one in this game sometimes uh, when I'm tired of getting my ass kicked on Mario Kart because she cheats with Toad. Uh, one v one in this game. We can't play it very long, even though we want to. But we we just like, man, I'm starting to get a headache. We got to turn this off. <laughs> it probably doesn't help that we have octagon wheels, and uh, that's probably the best turn I've ever made in my life on that corner. And I still got passed. So I definitely want to know what you guys have to say about this game. How many of you played this game on a stand-up arcade? How many of you played this game on the console? You know, where would you? rank this and I know it's, I don't say ranking but you know how would you grade this for its first time I mean obviously the graphics are just not very good I mean even back then they they were very subpar graphics you know the N64 was pretty revolutionary when it came out and uh, I think they could have gotten more out of the graphics but uh, the gameplay obviously was very solid you could do you know you could pull the handbrake and you know slide and power slide and do some drift in man and of course, I had to go with the manual transmission. I always picked this car probably because it has the racing stripes. I always like the racing stripes. But uh, what what was your favorite car to use? And I'll, I'll probably upload, uh, since this is probably my first racing game, I'll, I'll upload uh, a 1v1 with the wife on Mario Kart. Maybe, maybe for next week. Again, I'm trying to do these every Thursday. I was camping last Thursday, but I'm trying to do these every Thursday. And uh, I also am going to have a retro live stream tonight. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet, so leave me suggestions down in the comments what game I should play for my retro stream tonight. It'll probably start around 8, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But let me know what you guys think about this game. Leave suggestions for future games. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, and make sure you stay for the... <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this, but when you when you win... And then you have to put in your name. It's one of the greatest songs of all time. So make sure you stick around for that. As always, thanks for watching. Later. What's your name? Start with a C. Start with a G. Start with a Z. Nothing nasty now. What's your name?